Welcome to the wrap-up of the Arduino meets the Apple II. This is using a data logger shield that has a SD card uh, a connector on it and a real-time clock chip also built into it. I wired up uh, some wires for the game port socket here and then we just plugged the game port cable into the shield on top of a Uno R3 and uh, downloaded the firmware and here we are running the utility to read a disk image off of an SD card and write it directly to the floppy disk. So here this is in real time reading the image was a whole track at a time off the SD card and then writing it again a whole track at a time to the floppy disk. And you can see it goes pretty quick. Uh, I think I timed it out to be uh, close to 45 seconds to create uh, the physical floppy from the disk image. It's uh, pretty good for game port. Okay, just about wrapped up. And we're done. Quick reboot. And let's see what's on that floppy. It's Load Runner. Didn't lie. So that was successful. Now we're going to run back to the uh, Plasma Sandbox IDE. And this is a little program that I wrote to access the real time clock on this Arduino Shield. And here we're just constantly fetching the time from the real-time clock chip and displaying it on the screen. Simple little chip, uses a, a two-wire library. Now say we want to uh, take that source code and copy it to the SD card so I can bring it onto my laptop. So I just use the that put utility and it will take my ProDOS source code, just a te ProDOS text file in this case, and write it uh, to the fat formatted SD card so I can read it on my laptop. I don't type very fast. And here it has copied the file and it has added, if you look at the uh, fat file name, the cider press metadata to the end of it. So here I'll show you it's the SPA, SPI clock.pla with the cider press information. Well, that does it for this utility. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.